how do you guys feel about that? Going back to land, do you think it changes things? Do you think we're going to see perhaps some old players who prefer land and are quite vocal about preferring land come back by the time the fourth major is here? Uh, what do you guys well, think about? Well, what do you mean by come back? Like the players that are benched? I don't know, maybe a slasher. Slasher has made it very clear that he hates online COD. You have people like Silly last year who mentioned that it's it's really difficult for him to kind of zone in when he's doing online games. So do you, do you think maybe a resurgence Listen, of some man, of those everyone, players Everyone in the history of time has said they're better on land. It's just not facts. I actually Ooh. do believe in Silly being better on land and Austin, but you know why? They're West Coast. This is just a fact. Ian, you've played on both coasts. Yeah. Tell me it's not harder to play from the West Coast. It's oh, not, yeah. It, it's night and day. Yeah, it's not even it's close. Everyone thinks they're better on land. Not true. I think a lot of the stuff that happens would still happen on land. FaZe would still be dominant. Toronto would still be really, really, really good. They might they'd probably still be the best team in the world. I, I'm excited for land. But at the same time, I don't think that it's going to have this drastic impact that people think mm -hmm. it's going to have. But. It's wishful thinking, perhaps. It's, it's cool. At least for I think it's cool to get back to where I think we're towards some normalcy, though. I I kind of agree with you. I mean, I agree with John where everyone does think they're just the hottest shit when it comes to land. And no, it's not true. There are some expectations. <laughs> um, but I will say we're in a very interesting point because there's a lot of professional CDL players that have never competed on land. That's true. Right? A lot of it, them it, it, true, yeah. A, a lot, a lot of That's them. True. And people love to bring up you know uh, the rookies from the snd scene or just the challenger scene that are doing great right the simp the abizis um the shotsies there's a lot of players that have had you know no if, if it was a draft they'd be number one pick top five and then they <laughs> busted you know like they were just not good on land and it's hot but no one talks about them i think that there's a chance that we could see a lot of these young players kind of be exposed now obviously you can't just write them off after one event mm -hmm. but at the end of the day and there isn't an audience there there aren't fans katie but if they continue moving forward right and getting back to that land environment to maybe have fans come back i think there's a good chance that you will see some of these guys who are you know competing in this in the cdl kind of fall out uh, i i do uh, I mean, and it's that's... not anything against them i i just that's just how it is yeah that's definitely true, and it also to this is a weird point, but uh, for anyone that's competed online, it also kind of depends on the style of setup they have. So, I, how do I explain this? Sometimes, at least back in the day, you'd have setups that were kind of back, like facing each other, so you could literally look and see mm -hmm. the opponent across from you. And the reason I bring that up is because when you die online, you just kind of die, right? But when you die on land, sometimes you have certain types of people who get up and like they'll let you know, like you suck. I'm looking at you. Yeah name x player who hasn't played on, I, you suck and that affects certain people you differently suck Pac -Man. yeah okay fine you suck pac-man yeah. like it affects certain people differently for me it would make me laugh for some people it actually affects them negatively like it right and for some people it gets them hyped up like okay now it's my turn like that's how i feel like clay has always been i'm gonna get in your face I, you get in my face i'm gonna get back in your face and then there's also styles where you've been in glass booths super far apart where it doesn't even really matter you're playing on land except for you know the connection and where you're separate, I don't know how it's going to be, but there's different styles of land, and depending on how it's going to be, since it's probably going to be a lot smaller space, there's going to be no spectators mm -hmm. and all that, it could affect people differently.